Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com, and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday, the 26th of November, where I choose just one of the signals from our membership area and set it up on a chart and show you how to get in. So, in our membership area, we have potential long fifth wave trades and potential short fifth wave trades every single day on the weekly, the daily, and the 60 minute time frame. Our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today. Look something like this. Now these are shorts. I look at the bottom of the spreadsheet here. I'm on the daily time frame. There's also available six minute and weeklies. I'm going to concentrate on the daily time frame today for a potential short and set that up using one of our indicator suites. So I've chosen MCHP on the daily time frame for a short. This is our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Thinkorswim trading platform. It's also available for multi charts, TradeStation, and NinjaTrader NT8. You can see here, the isolated, uh, the, the, the trend, if you like, the downward trend up here, these highs of 104.2 at the top left there. And then our indicator suite has automatic labeled the Elliott Wave Count. Our automated um, probability pullback zones are printed and also our um, target zone there. So let's have a closer look at this wave four because this is what we're really interested here and this is what caused forms some of the filters for uh, the the data that we throw out there with those potential trades both long and short. So the first filter is that we've had a pullback against that main trend and it's this, this wave four here. As you can see it's just nipped into the amber zone here and found good resistance. So this amber zone represents an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zone down here around about $56. The next is how this wave four has behaved. Uh, we look at the top of the three subcharts here, and this is our uh, 535 oscillator. During this wave four, we've pulled back between 90 and 140 percent there, which is perfect. It's just it's right on the limit. It's got to start pulling back down now, but so far so good. The next filter is our false breakout stochastic. You see the yellow dots on the bottom of the oversold zone there. That denotes a really strong bearish trend. And when the stochastic pulls back against there, it most likely wants to return there. Now it has to do that, I think, Monday, Tuesday this week and start to come back down. Uh, but so far, this, this looks pretty good. Uh, so then we go to, to set this up. So very, very simply, the, the wave four here, we've got to have the stop loss just above there, about 76.31, something like that. And then the entry, I've gone a little bit uh, conservative here, just below the low of this pivot where my mouse is here, because uh, this was an attempt to go down pr uh, the, the last attempt and it failed. So we want to make sure we're below that. So a 69.43 entry short for MCHP on the daily time frame is a, is a sensible entry. It's below our 6.4 moving average low, which is part of our indicator suite uh, and used for our entries. It's also below our... Uh, W5T EMA cloud. Uh, so really sensible conservative entry and still giving us a risk to reward of one to two into our automated target zone there. So even with a sensible entry, we've got a great risk to reward. So, so that's it. Very, very simple from our stocks uh, scanner membership using our Elliott Wave indicator suite to set it up. Uh, we get we just put out these signals and very, very simple to trade. This is on the daily time frame. So you could expect with a, with a short probably um, once we trigger, it could take between 11 and 17 training days to get to the target. Now with shorts, they can move a lot quicker. Um, but that's the sort of uh, time frame you're looking for for the targets to be hit on those fifth wave swing trades. OK, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.